All right, guys, today we're going to be setting up this Logitech True Force G923 racing wheels and pedals along with the shifter. So I'm going to be using this monitor and a PS5, but it's the same process if you're going to use a PC. Let's get into it. All right, the first thing, grab your steering wheel and place it upside down. You will notice right away that we have four slots right there. So that's to organize all the cables, starting with this one that is already connected to the steering wheel. Just like that, guys, make sure it's flat. As you can see, the steering wheel, we also has the pedals and the shift the logo to connect the cable. So that way you won't get confused. But even if you don't see the logos, the cable connections are different. So there's no way you're going to get confused. Let's start connecting the pedals. We're going to connect the pedals on this side, the left side. As you can see, we have the logo and, you know, the connection fit perfectly. And now let's organize the cable on the second slot just like that now let's connect the shifter the shifter obviously is gonna be on that side and now let's organize the cable on this slot right here do it the same way guys that way when you place the steering wheel on the table you won't get any trouble now let's plug in the power cord it's going right here and let's organize the cable as well the last slot so make sure it's tight and secure everything have to be flat okay because that surface is going on the table at the end you will have this clean job as you can see in my whole studio i have carpet which means i have to press that button to release that so that won't make the pedals to move a lot when you are using it you know what i mean so make sure that thing is up and if you have hard floor like wood floor or any kind of floor that is not carpet don't put that up because that going to scratch your floor and you will get in trouble with your dad okay don't do that guys now let's keep going i'm gonna put this right under my desk i'm gonna organize the cable later and now let's place the steering wheel on the desk you on the table whatever you're using guys so let's position that and after let's tighten it up where you want it so as you can see guys if you push that down and turn it to the right it will stay down it will look much better so you can do that with both just like that finally we have the usb cable that goes to your pc or your playstation on my playstation i have two usb port let's go ahead and plug it in and now let's start this thing up we are not done yet as you can see if i move the steering wheel it won't respond basically it's connected but it's not working for that to work i have to press the playstation button right there you will see that message on your monitor and then press the x and now as you can see if i move the steering wheel it's working perfectly so you're gonna have to do that guys every time you're gonna use the steering wheel that's the only way your ps5 will recognize the steering wheel testing the pedal as you can see is working perfectly as well so we have no problem this is the final test as you can see everything is working perfectly guys if you have any question please let me know in the comment section drop a like subscribe to the channel i will see you in my next video now guys i'm just gonna run the video that way you will see that everything is working the way it should be